Welcome to the first Tunisian Indian Business Forum. It's my pleasure and honor to be as a media master here in this marvelous ceremony, the first economic forum between Kenya and Tunisian Republic. For historical and linguistic reasons, Tunisia has concentrated its foreign African commerce on the West African countries for years and succeeded for its high capability, competitive and professionalism in human resources. Therefore, the observer of economic issues can deny the role of East African countries on the top of it, Kenya, which has earned a qualitative growth for its leading path in technology and communication sectors especially. Now, the forthcoming integration of Tunisia into the Comisa can only confirm this vocation and will certainly allow our countries to benefit from a favorable partnership framework within our natural environment as it happens in the African continent. We can only be honored and proud to be the 20th country member of COMESA. As African nations, our native continuous dream is to support and initiate the South and South trade path and steer it to communities, youth power and nations benefit. And maybe it will happen in here as a premium building stage to adapt a responsible beneficiary collaboration with true African determined hands. Finally, an African man once said, the future rewards nations who press on progress. It is Barack Obama, and I'm totally convinced that uh, it, uh, in here he will press it on to success. Because, yes, we can. In 2017, Kenya's domestic investment FDI grew by 71%. Despite the global decline in FDI, which recorded a 23% decrease in the same period. So you can see that we're in the right place where growth is really, really happening. Equally, Kenya has continued to engage in reforms and inspire conducive business environment to sustain private sector's growth. With these reforms, Kenya continues to improve in the world bank is of doing business and currently. Uh, for those maybe who not have uh, read in, uh, what it, what, where Kenya is, let me just uh, share some of the statistics. So Kenya ranks position 61, having moved 75 points from position 136 in 2014, and has been ranked as the, uh, the, uh, the top most improved country globally in the last two years, and among the top 10 reformed countries globally in the last four years. So really, really, you can see where there is growth and interest in the country. This would not really have happened without a structured partnership with the government led by His Excellency the President of, uh, of Kenya, Honorable Kenyatta, and the, the private sector led by KEPSA as the umbrella body. The manufacturing sector is one of those uh, strategic areas uh, focused by, by government. We really want to grow our economy. We have identified some areas we would like to focus on. Textile and apparel. One is one of the entry level. We have uh, secure markets in the US, and in Angola, we've got secure markets in Europe, and uh, an EPA, and increasingly securing other markets in Africa with the CFTA. So we believe that this is an area where we can grow in. We're very especially interested in high value uh, textiles uh, in, in, in this context. Uh, in the year 2017, <coughs> Um, Tunisian exports into Kenya, uh, Kenyan exports to Tunisia increased by 2.7 million dollars, and total imports dropped from 0.63 to 0.45. So the total trade between Kenya and Tunisia is very, very little. I mean, I don't think that we can say that there is a strong trading relationship at this point in time. The figures speak for themselves, and it actually demonstrates that we have a lot to do as business communities. Currently, we are exporting coffee, fruits and nuts, edible uh, plants, um, survey and hydraulic, hydrographic equipment, fully tackle and measuring instruments. And we are importing from yourselves uh, water vessels, footwear, uh, upper, upper, upper leather, phosphonite, centrifugal yeast, dates and figs. For the private sector, we've picked a few areas that we really want to focus on, and that's textiles, leather for processing, building and construction materials, oil mining and gas, iron and steel, ICT, and fish processing. And this includes the value chain, so that all the sectors are connected to the SMEs in the whole value chain. So as you're looking at the sectors of investment, this is where we're looking for partners 
you can come in and invest in any of these areas, but also form JVs, uh, joint ventures with the Kenyan partners so that we all can work together and look forward to when we can partner and move to other parts of the, of the, of the continent together as businesses, but also for other parts of the world. You know, when you look at the big multinationals, many of them are partners, you know, from even different continents, and they're able to be able to be big enough to move to another part of our continent. And that's what I look forward to seeing the African business, so that not only a Tunisian company is investing in Kenya or going to South Africa, but a Tunisian company and a Kenyan company can actually have a joint venture and move to Uganda or move to Uganda and to another country. So that's really what I hope to see one day. I'm looking at the statistics uh, of your country. I know that Tunisia is a country with just under 12 million people with a GDP per capita of about 3,400. Whereas Kenya has a population of 447 million with a GDP per capita of about 1,500. We are expanding and diversifying our export base, looking at, uh, at critical ways of sustaining our economy, um, as well as establishing trade, strong trade uh, relationships with other countries in Africa. Our president, Uhuru Kenyatta, is extremely committed to the agenda of intra-African trade and many times pushes us to go out and engage with business with people like yourselves um, in, in terms of trying to deepen um, the ports of trade and investment between our, our countries. The bilateral air services agreement between the two countries is at an advanced stage of negotiation and that should provide an opportunity for ease of travel between our countries. So we like to create uh, with these JCCs and JTCs and with buses, governments are taking the opportunity to create uh, the infrastructure to bolster commercial relations between our countries. Uh, our country has a development framework, the Vision 2030, which we aim to grow our economy to middle income uh, status. We are right now a lower middle income a country that would like to obviously advance and grow. It's a country that Kenya has been, it's a country that has been growing rapidly over the last uh, decade. And the Vision 2030 cements our ambition, our vision as, as a country. The Big Four agenda identified by the President for these next five years is a part of our Vision 2030 it provides a framework for acceleration job creation through growth in the manufacturing sector, greater uh, expansion of social services through uh, housing, affordable housing, uh, and health and food security, and healthcare. This intra-African trade story has been a long time coming. And the fact that you are here is a clear demonstration of your seriousness to drive that agenda. And for us, as a Kenyan business community, we welcome you with open arms and uh, we assure you that we are both willing and ready to do business with you. I strongly believe that business opportunities exist to the level of both countries and our visit today with an important delegation composed of high authority members, 32 companies operating mainly in the agri-food, public, buildings, chemical, international trade, and textile sector denotes our interest to concretize partnership projects which, which can intensify the, intensify the economic relation between the operator of both countries and impacts investment. Ladies and gentlemen, aware of its membership of, to the African continent and its privileged geographical position halfway between Sahara and Mediterranean Sea. Tunisia has been working all this year to strengthen its presence on our mother continent through the organization of business delegation conducted by high level government authority with the main objective of reinforcing the relation of fraternity and cooperation with the different African countries. Yes, the of the center and their partner for the Kenyan side. A lot of things bring us together, Tunisia and Kenya. The place of the woman, democracy, and cohesion. Ladies and gentlemen, our forum is being held at a particularly important moment in the operation 
of the regional economic integration process of my country. This, this first uh, Tunisian and uh, Kenyan economic forum is a first. So we are very excited, but it gives us a prime opportunity to address uh, and to deepen uh, uh, economic linkages uh, between ourselves. And I'm very glad to see a large number of businesses both from Tunisia and from Kenya. And we want to applaud all of you in business because governments open these opportunities through uh, their diplomatic relations. But it will come to naught if business and people don't take uh, opportunity of the same to cement uh, relations. So I really want to applaud all of you. And after your b 2 bs later on today, I hope there will be some deals that we can witness and we can see fruition of in, in, a, in, a, few, in, a, in, a, in a few months. In order to bolster the engagement that um, Kenya and, uh, and uh, Tunisia have, uh, have, 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 you know, have undertaken, we have established a joint framework uh, for cooperation, which was signed in 2001. And, uh, but unfortunately, we have not actually had uh, a joint session of our JCC. So this is an important framework for bilateral cooperation, both the Joint Commission, uh, the JCC, and also the Joint Trade Commission. So I hope as we develop our relationship, we can actually establish this uh, form of frameworks for bilateral engagement in the rest, uh, in the rest of the globe. We have uh, possibilities. We have industrial parks that you can uh, set up in, both government parks like the export processing zones. We have several around, uh, around, around the country, but also private parks and private um, special economic uh, zones that have been set up in Kenya, around Nairobi, around uh, Eldoret, but also increasingly other industrial parks. The private sector in Kenya is very is, is, is very eager to support government efforts in industrialization by availing uh, service uh, service land and service industrial parks. So there is quite a few. Um, Kenya plays a, a, a role as a hub in this region and because of our port of, of Kenedini. We have infrastructure expansion taking place with the standard gate rail down. A lot of roads um, and airports uh, and other internal infrastructure is being deployed to make sure that trade and investment will be as seamless as possible. Our country is also focusing a lot on employment of uh, youth, youth employment and I can say with no fear of hesitation that we have the best human resource complement in this part of the world. Signatures done. Thank you very much. The second, the second. Check your hands.